Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Next door neighbors separated by a state line. The Vandals and the Cougars are on the field as Idaho and Washington State are finishing up final warm-ups in the battle for the Palouse. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Bennett is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20, across the 30, and he's tackled the 32-yard line. The Cougars right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to him. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they push him out at the 35. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Bring the quarterback down. Larson's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. So the sack makes this a second and long. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the seven. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Touchdown! They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Wildcats had a spot in the top 20. That is in jeopardy after this performance. And for Nebraska, they put together four straight wins. 
And for Mosley, he puts up terrific numbers with four touchdown passes. The Cornhuskers take it by three. In other games, let's take a look at some action from Waco. The Bears strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. Hester's arm is working its magic. He's thrown a touchdown pass in this one. All right, Reese, back to our game. Snyder gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver one. Here they come, and they got him. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Ryan is the punter. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Brought down around the 20-yard line. Washington State is up seven. Complete brought down, nothing doing. No big on the play. That makes it second and two time. Here's a run. Inside the ten. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Touchdown, Washington State. And so they punch it in on the ground. Herb Street, great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Baylor, they're looking for their fourth straight win. Baylor leads it 20 to 17. In another game, let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. The Mustangs have the perfect connection and a touchdown. Henry's feeling it right now. He's showing off that cannon, having thrown for more than 300 yards. SMU in front, 20 to 16. Early moments of the fourth quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. They line up to kick this one away. Williams from the six. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Pick up 
It was a quick three and out on their last possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Quick strike to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 41. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. He's at the 40, fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 33. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. From the 33-yard line, first down. Down to the tight end, but it's incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the 26. Moore gained seven yards with a catch there. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at about the 13. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. That makes it second and 10. And this play is number eight on the drive. The Vandals, wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. What is happening in Waco? And for North Texas, they've now dumped four in a row. Baylor wins it 27-17. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. King Bennett is lined up to kick this one off. John takes it at the eight. And down he goes to the 33-yard line. Washington State's lighting up the scoreboard so far, and the guys on the other sideline are having to settle for field goals. And that's got to change if they're going to have a chance to be able to win this game. They're moving the ball well, but they've got to put the ball into the end zone. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Yet to go, but at the end of one, Washington State's in front by 11. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. And that one's incomplete. From their own 33-yard line, it's third down. 
The Cougars had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. What a gain of two yards. That makes it fourth and eight. Low, back deep to return. Low, fields at the 31. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach Still when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. From their own 26-yard line, first down. Slings it out there incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Third and 11. Ball in the 25. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. Fourth and long here after the sack. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Whoa, he just took a licking. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Here we go. Nice run there as they work the outside. Marks gains about five yards on the option play. the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Fourth down and the offense is still on the field. The Vandals lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury and unfortunately I don't think he's going to play any more football today. What a play and that is first and goal. Cougars. 
Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he adds the extra point. A nice eight-play, 49-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Snyder looks ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Time, and now he might want to take off. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. First down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Roger, Roger. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 25. Phillips on the tackle at the 25 yard line. First down. From the 25 yard line, it's first down. Was complete and he stopped immediately. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up, and that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Now he pitches it, he makes it to the 18 yard line. Idaho will have one timeout remaining. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle right around the 10 yard line. Daly makes the tackle at the 10 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down at the six-yard line. Jenkins on the tackle at the six-yard line. That brings up second and five. Got a man open. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 81-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Marks' reputation really precedes him when you talk about how he can lead a team, but when you see him in person, you really feel it, Kurt. It's a different, completely different feel when you watch him in person, and it has a lot to do with the intangibles that he brings to the table. I mean, there's examples here in this first half where he's been able to help his team, not just being able to throw the football or make good decisions, but just helping guys get back into the huddle, kind of patting guys on the back, trying to get this offense to believe in themselves, and almost just willing this team to a victory. And so far, he's done all those things. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Fires it out. They'll bring him down around 
the 37-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Mike 41, Mike 41. Here we go. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Bass to punt. Williams takes it to 28, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Well, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Steps out of bounds at the 46. And this one could be on the defense. Pass, Pass interference. interference. Offense. offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your down. offensive progress. So it's first down and an eternity. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Going deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. We played a half. Washington State leads 21-10. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Low fields at the goal line. Oh, man, he took him down hard. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. Makes the grab past the marker. And he's taken down at about the 49. First First down. Down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Miller on play action. Here comes the pressure. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That'll make it second and seven. From the 48-yard line. Second down. Intercepted. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. They 
run it for the first, and he stops. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And they push him out around the 20-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down in the open field. Chucks it downfield. He's tackled right around the eight-yard line. And down he goes, right around the four-yard line. Touchdown, Washington State. the PAT. A nice five play, 79 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Washington State is ready to kick it away. From the five yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. Washington State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 27. And he can't get away from the pressure. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line.
There's a strike complete. And they make the stop around the 21 yard line. That brings us second and one. Quick strike to the receiver. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third and five. Ball on the 24. Here we go, D. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. Ready. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. He's in trouble. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled around the six-yard line. That brings him second and five. Swings it out left to the halfback. Nice grab by the halfback for the touchdown. It was a short throw for the quarterback, but not easy. He made that play work. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Snyder ready to kick. Low fields it at the seven. He's taken down at the 29. The Cougars staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Myers quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Anderson, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He wants it all going long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Well, that's a big time play by the defense here to knock that football away to set up a pivotal fourth down. Gets to about the 44 yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be living. Uh, he's got to get in the face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. That's three down and one to go. Washington State's got a huge lead. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Washington State comes to the line holding that commanding lead. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. Third down now and they need to get it inside the 46. Well, that was a 
big stop here early in the fourth quarter. They needed some of that earlier because this game is still out of hand. That'll make it fourth and 14. Bass is the punter. Williams fields it at the 30, and he's taken down at the 38. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. yard line second down they tried to fool by running the same play again yeah, fooled no one there Brad The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Ryan awaits the snap. Pretty good job by the return man there. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Washington State comes to the line in complete control in this game. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Tackle at the 44. From the 44-yard line, first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Colbert comes away with about two yards and a little draw play. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Delay of game, offense. That penalty will move him back a Still bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From the 47-yard line, second down. Brought down at the 28. Inside the 10. There's another. This offense has been driven by this young man with four touchdowns. We wondered if the linebackers were going to be able to slow him down today, and I guess that answer is pretty simple. No. He makes the PAT. to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 28-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, 
But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Just over two minutes in the game. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Strike to his receiver, no good. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Was the intended receiver on the way. That brings us third and ten. He rifles it. More intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Chavez, the return man. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Washington State's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. We're down to just a minute in this game. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. This one's in the books, and our final score, Washington State, 42, Idaho, 10. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.